Hello, aspirants. Hope your prelim preparation is in a full swing. Uh, this last 30, 40 days before the prelims is very, very critical. And what you do now in these 30, 40 days will decide your result. So try to have a proper plan and make it sure that you execute it in a very proper way. So we, through our experience, we are making some predictions which may help you to crack the prelims. And along with that, I will also be guiding you through this series of lectures that uh, these best practices which one should follow prior to the prelims. So in this lecture, let us discuss about uh, Higgs boson. Higgs boson. We also know that uh, this is called as God's particle. It was named after Peter Higgs, who theorized uh, this Higgs boson. As per the standard model of uh, particle physics, Higgs boson exists or it creates the Higgs field. And it is the Higgs field which is responsible for any particle to have a mass. Here there is no need to go in depth to know about uh, um, the standard model of particle physics or what is a boson, etc. But just uh, in prelims point of view, at least we need to know what is this Gauss particle or the so-called uh, uh, Higgs boson. As I told you, uh, the standard model of, of particle physics, it top explains about the existence of a Higgs field and the so-called Higgs boson. But uh, this Higgs boson was discovered only in the year 2012. Until then, everything was there only in a theoretical uh, format. And uh, even we couldn't prove the existence of a Higgs field. But in the year 2012, there was uh, a landmark discovery from the Large Hadron Collider. I think by this time, you should be comfortable with uh, the Large Hadron Collider experiment also. And even how India is contributing for that uh, costliest experiment on the earth. Because we are supplying the um, precise magnet positioning system to Large Hadron Collider. And there are numerous uh, scientists from India who make all the mathematical calculations there. Good. In the year 2012, Large Hadron Collider detected the Higgs boson. So, uh, what is this the Higgs boson? There is no need to go in depth. But why it is called as God's particle? That I will be explaining you shortly. So first let us discuss about the properties of Higgs boson. The mass of Higgs boson, it is of 125 giga electron volts per speed of, per the square of the speed of the light, square of the speed of the light. It is roughly 133 times of the mass of a proton. And see, listen, what is the mass? The mass is 125 giga electron volts divided by speed of the light square. Then no spin. Higgs boson has no spin. Actually, because of no spin, right, it is more a scalar particle than a vector particle. There is no spin. The most important property of Higgs boson, say it is a chargeless. It does not carry any electric charge, so it is electrically neutral. The next comes a very important property which made it very difficult for our scientists to discover the Higgs boson. That is the lifespan or the lifetime of the Higgs boson. After its creation, a Higgs boson exists only for 10 to the power of minus 22 seconds. What a huge fraction of time it is. 10 to the power of minus 22 seconds. That means immediately after its creation, it decays into some other uh, smaller and stable particles. This is what makes it very difficult to identify the Higgs boson, but uh, 
in large hadron collider experiment with a number of mathematical calculation our scientists there managed to identify managed to discover this higgs boson so with the discovery of higgs boson now the presence of higgs field has been confirmed yes higgs field is there and this higgs field it surrounds the entire universe it's here it is there it is everywhere it occupies the entire universe and it is this higgs field which is responsible for everything on earth so whatever we have here be the pen be the tie or everything it is the higgs field which makes it possible so what is this higgs field and how it is created See here or uh, the higgs boson what it does actually it is responsible for uh, uh, giving the particle any mass so every particle has a mass an atom has a mass electron has a mass proton has a mass from where we get the mass that's a very big question mark so it is uh, the higgs mechanism so we have the higgs field which surrounds everywhere and this higgs field was created by the higgs boson the higgs boson interacts with the particles and it creates a higgs field this field is there everywhere in the universe but thing is that we cannot see it like atmosphere is there we cannot see it we cannot feel it just like that see magnetic field is there on the earth's surface it surrounds everywhere but we are not in a position to see that we cannot feel that similarly even higgs field is also there which we cannot visualize but it is the interaction of any particle with the higgs field which gives it a mass to what extent a particle can interact in the higgs field that gives that particle mass depending upon the interaction so greater the interaction in the higgs field greater will be its mass i will explain you using one example guys uh, please assume that you are in your college day function in your college day function okay so a, a, a very good party is going on a number of events are being organized and uh, you guys are having a good time there in the auditorium so this is the higgs field so now in this field your maths teacher enters your auditorium um or few maths is something uh, uh, which they may like but for most of the students i will tell you maths means oh my god differential calculus integral calculus yeah so once when a maths teacher goes there right um, he may not interact much with uh, the students there and uh, so one out of 10 may say hi sir hi how are you just like that that's it suddenly a movie star or say being in india uh, sachin tendulkar he enters uh, your auditorium what happens every single person right will rush there to get a autograph from him to take a selfie selfie with him and the amount of interaction now increases there so it is the interaction of that person in that field gives him mass so sachin tendulkar naturally gets more mass in that field now can you understand how particle gets mass in higgs field or it is it is in fact the interaction of a particle in the higgs field gives mass to a particle so it was a very big discovery so guys there is no need to worry much about higgs boson here what is a boson what is a fermion there is no need to go in depth but at least try to have some idea about the properties of a higgs boson we call it as a god's particle just have a look at that the lifetime is very very less the lifespan of higgs boson is 10 to the power of -22 seconds so just immediately after the formation it decays into some other uh, stable particle the electric charge zero electric charge electrically neutral look at the mass 125 giga electron volts divided by speed of the light square and spin again it has zero spin as a result it is a scalar particle and it is not a vector particle got it so guys apart from uh, what we discussed here i expect you to have some idea about uh, large hadron collider experiment also
like what is allies what is compound muon solenoid okay so uh, what is the maximum uh, energy they have gained or achieved through this experiment etc so that i'll be briefing you in some other lecture okay fine then i hope you are comfortable with the higgs boson so because of number of interesting things which are happening in the international scientific community the importance of higgs boson and higgs field is gaining importance so that's why i'm making this prediction it may be a question in your prelims right okay so stay in touch i'll continue to make predictions for this prelims 23 thank you